Your Majesty, we've had extremely and productive talks, and I think we've made significant progress toward peace. We have initiated a dialogue from which we should not consider turning back. Much work remains to be done, and the road ahead is tough. But it's the right road, and I remain optimistic that direct negotiations for a just resolution of the Palestinian problem in the context of a real and enduring peace is within our reach. Your visit has served as a reminder that the bonds of friendship that link Jordan and the United States are as strong as ever. And I am gratified as well by the warmth and goodwill which characterizes our personal relationship. I hope we can build on these bases in the weeks and months ahead to achieve the objective, enduring peace which we and our people so fully share. Your Majesty, I wish you a safe trip and look forward to our next meeting. Mr. President, may I thank you once again, sir, for the privilege and pleasure I've had, together with my party from Jordan, of meeting you, sir, and being with our friends at this very important historical point in time, in terms of our common hopes, in terms of the future of the area I come from and the future of generations to come. To the skeptics, I would like to say that it has been, in my view, a very successful visit. I believe, sir, that we have an understanding of each other's views better than at any time in the past. I can also seek to advise our friends that Jordan has been committed for the cause of establishing a just and durable peace. This has been our record since 67. This was re-emphasized by the first summit, representing the view and the consensus of the entire Arab world. And I hope that I have been able on this visit to assure you, sir, and our friends of our determination to do all in our power for the establishment of a just and durable peace in the Middle East. We will go back uh, to our area. We will be in close contact and uh, over the coming period with our brethren there. There is much that we will take back with us. And we hope to be in touch again. I hope to have the privilege and pleasure of being with you, sir, before too long. Rest assured of our commitment to the cause of future generations, their rights to live in peace and security in our entire area. I hope that we can contribute our share for a better, safer, more stable life for generations to come in the Middle East. Thank you so much, sir, for your many kindnesses and your warm welcome. And may I say, wish you a very Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year, sir. Thank you so very much. much. Thank you. And please give our warmest regards, Nancy, and the many of to your good Majesty. Thank you so much. All your time, Mr. President.